Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of my travel activities show here on YouTube. Um, so last year I lived a couple of months in Munich and that was just amazing because first I wasn't sure whether I would like the city because obviously it is the essence of the German stereotype around the world but it turns out that I love the city and everything around it so that's why today we are taking a trip to Munich and see what you should definitely do there. But first, some basic info about Munich. So Munich is the capital of Bavaria, a state in the south of Germany. And in the city itself, around 1.5 million people are living. And uh, But you really don't feel that it's that big for, <laughs> at least for German standards. Um, the Englischer Garten, so English Garden in English, is one of the biggest inner city parks. And it is even bigger than Central Park in New York City and even bigger than Hyde Park in London. So yeah, the city is really built around that park and is also part of the travel activity. So let's check them out. So the first travel activity is to rent a bike and go explore the River Isar. Um, yeah, as I said, in Munich, Nature is really everywhere because of the Englischer Garten um, and yeah, also the city is built around it. So wherever you are in the city center and also in the outer parts in the north of the city, you will have easy access to the um, park and all the nature you will definitely need in a city. Um, but what's also nice about Munich is the River Isar which is kind of maybe the water lung of the city uh, because it's also quite centered so also part of the Englischer Garten and you can't really miss it um, so definitely go out and rent a bike on one of the many rent stations all around the city it's an open access you just need an app for it and then you can I think you can pay by minute so it's really really easy to get that and once you have a bike make sure to either go south or north all along the Isar. I prefer the north a little bit more because once you are on like the trail and the more north you go the less people you will see and it's really like likely that there will be many parts where you won't see anybody else and you're just all alone and you can go into the water and can can take a swim because it is um, allowed I think at least I did it and um, obviously it's not like your beach and your, I don't know, waves and everything, but you can still sit there and the water is crystal clear and yeah, very, very nice on a hot summer day. But also in spring and autumn and winter, so something for every season. The second activity to do in Munich is to go out in a beer garden. Um, yeah, I mean, this is quite obvious, but something you should definitely do because the drinking and food culture in south of Germany is amazing and yeah a beer garden is a must um, and once you are there definitely order one mass of beer which is actually one liter of, of beer um, it's very tasty but please drink responsibly you can also get a half half mass or a shared with with a, another person um, but yeah definitely go go for that um, yeah there are many beer garden and yes that is the pro of beer garden in and around Munich and the beer and food is often quite affordable obviously that de depends on which kind of area you are in if you are in a more posh area then it will probably be a little bit more high class and not just wooden tables and whatever um, yeah so make sure that you maybe go to a more traditional or local beer garden because that's also more fun than go to any touristy place but yeah, besides beer garden, obviously there are so many other great food and drink possibilities and options in Munich because uh, even though the city is quite traditional, there are a lot of expats coming there because of big technical companies like Google. So there is a lot to choose from and so many other great options if you don't want to have German food. So the third option and travel activity you should do is go and explore the surroundings of Munich. So yeah, Bavaria has immaculate nature for every hiking lover and bike enthusiast and basically everybody who wants to go out and doesn't expect the sea or seashores anywhere because that you won't find in Bavaria. And Munich is very well located when it comes to 
explore the surroundings and explore Bavaria, south of Bavaria, because um, there are so many beautiful lakes and small towns surrounding Munich, which is very, very nice. You can easily access them by public transport as well, but I would recommend to maybe get a renting car and because that's that's easier and it's still it's still a country of cars so but that's no problem because we actually have a discount code and a partnership with a renting company a renting platform so if you have a Geometro profile go into your profile section and there you have the partner option if you don't have a profile yet create one because this discount is actually quite good so yeah an example what you should definitely visit is Tegernsee. Um, the word See in German means lake in English, so don't be confused because it is so similar to sea. So Tegernsee is a beautiful lake, I think about like 30 minutes by car. And then we also have the Starnberger See. I think that's a little bit far away, but maybe, I don't know, 45 minutes. And this these lakes are just crystal clear and so beautiful and especially the towns around are so nice and obviously there you can also see where the money lies uh, because and that's actually quite funny um, a lot of the um, soccer players from FC Bayern München one of the most popular um, sport teams from Germany they have their houses there and you can see that so it's also quite nice or quite interesting to watch watch cars for example or drive around in, in very nice neighborhoods with unbelievably big houses so yeah this is um, also fun to do but yeah the nature is just the big plus and the big thing you should focus when going there also, obviously, we're in Bavaria, where the Alps are, so there are a lot of hiking opportunities. Personally, I went to um, the area around Berchtesgaden when I went for hiking and climbing in 2020. It was so nice. It's about two hours away from Munich, so definitely still manageable by car. But also, they have great train options and um, connections, so if you don't have a car, go by train, definitely. And yeah, as I said, very great for climbing and I'm sure there are plenty of other options that are a little bit closer to Munich, but Munich is definitely a good starting point for whatever nature adventure you're planning. And that was it for this week. I hope you liked our little tour to Munich and to Bavaria. I always love going there and I really enjoyed living there as well. Yes, it is a little pricier also probably for tourists, but it's definitely worth it and you will find cheap options as well if you look a bit for that. Yeah, if you ever need help with trip planning around Munich or whatever, let me know, just drop a comment. I will be happy to answer and get in contact. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely weekend ahead and see you next week. Bye.